welcome to our channel. Today we are showing you around this incredible five bedroom mansion located in Bedfordshire. So this property is currently on the market with our friend Marie from Fine and Country Bedford and is priced at two million pounds. So Matt and I are gonna show you around today. Matt's behind the camera at the moment. Hey guys. And we are not agents, just so you're aware. We are property vloggers and we just do tours across the UK showing you inside some of the UK's craziest, coolest homes. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Look how incredible this house looks from the front. Yeah, it's certainly got presence, hasn't it? Definitely. So this is the main parking area. You access the property through a private drive. It sweeps into this. You've got the le uh, to the left hand side, two garages. Um, so you can have a workshop in there or some storage space. But yeah, let's come closer to the door. So this property is full of history. Apparently Winston Churchill stayed at this property during the war. So that's pretty cool. So it's 18th century isn't it? 18th century yeah. and we've got two giraffes out the front which are pretty cool and these two pillars which just give it such a grand feeling. Okay let's head inside. We've got this huge door and we'll just take our shoes off quickly. Okay so this is the entrance and I mean wow. It's so grand in here. We've got double height ceilings with this incredible chandelier. And I wanna talk about the staircases first because this is an oak staircase and it was actually in the original house. So over 300 years old, these staircase, this staircase, which is just insane. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember the exact book, but it was featured, we'll put it on the screen. Yes. It was featured in a book, which basically tells all about the kind of amazing architecture yes. throughout the UK. And this was listed in, in there as well. Yeah, so we've got this open fireplace as well here. And throughout the property, there's eight open fireplaces. So in the bedrooms, there's even one in a bathroom. We'll show you all of them. We've got this oak flooring throughout. I mean, it just is so beautiful. I couldn't stop saying wow when I came in. I know, right? And so everywhere has been completely restored and renovated throughout. have spared yes. no expense on everything. And you'll see throughout the tour, the attention to detail in retaining the original features, but also yes. making it really modern. Done an amazing job, right? Incredible job. So you'll see the windows as well, are sash windows, but they've all been replaced. So they're actually new windows. Yeah, but you'd um, never tell if you, you you know, you didn't really look close. All yeah. the windows still have that original design, but the cost for something like that, like yeah. I say, they spared no expense. So I'm gonna show you the first two rooms there, the living rooms. So come through here. I feel like I could just walk around in a long gown. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you've ever thought about putting green on the walls, this is how incredible it looks. I mean, I've never seen a green room before, and this, is definitely way better than I ever expected green to look. It really works, doesn't it? Yeah, and you can see how tall the ceilings are. I mean, I've never been in a house this with this tall ceilings in my life, but pretty insane. Again, another open fireplace with marble, white marble features. The design on there is amazing. It's actually a huge fireplace. You can see yes. that so much, just how big, how it, big is. it is. And this room was sort of like the English tea kind of yeah, room. such an English tea vibe. And you've got three huge windows as well. Again, original style windows, but these have all been replaced. Yeah. So they're in really good condition, but they look just like the original windows. And these are the original shutters as well from the original house, which lock. And then you've got the view out to the garden. You've got lawn to the um, side of the property and also to the front. So yeah, this is the first room. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more property tours. And yeah, let's go through to the next room. So this is a bigger living space than the one I just showed you. But wow, I mean, it's absolutely insane. Firstly, we've got this feature wall with a dark blue color with gold outline and then lovely art on the wall. I think that makes property look 10 times better when there's art all around the property. Yeah, just look at these ceiling heights as well. Yeah. Putting some here in perspective, really, really so high, nice. which makes it just feel that much more grand. So we've got windows all to the back of this wall here. And again, with the shutters, again, these are sashed windows, but they are new, which is crazy because 
This is a listed property, it's grade two listed. When you're changing windows, the owner actually just said it took over a year to do that because of the regulations and things like that, which is crazy. Now coming through here, we've got obviously the sofas and an open fireplace to the front of me with some features and the cool portrait Matt really likes. <laughs> yeah, I just think it looks quite cool. And if you have a house like this, yeah. you really need a portrait of yourself on yeah. a wall in your main lounge. That's cool. So I like that. And this property is 6,200 square feet and is set on over three and a half acres. So just to give you a bit more information on the property as a whole. So this whole space is amazing for hosting. You've got the dining yes. room over there as well. Yeah. Or dining area, sorry. So we've got a 14 seater table which is pretty grand. And then we've got a door out to the garden. Um, so it's actually a window, looks like a window when it's down, but obviously you can open it up and it's a door out to the patio. So you can have a cool party in here, in an outdoor living. Yeah. Perfect yeah. for hosting, because you can step outside, huge garden, I think we've got around three and a half acres yes. total plot here. Uh, and it's completely private. You really set that far back from the road. So yeah, great space for hosting really. Definitely. Got some cool books on the bookshelf. But what I love about this property as well is how minimal it is. So there's no clutter or anything like this. And this is actually how they live. They haven't like tidied it for this video or anything. Um, so yeah, and the owners have two children too. So pretty tidy for kids and as well. And even ro their room is tidy and we'll show yeah, you that in a minute. It's amazing. Honestly, the bedrooms are incredible in this house. Make sure you don't click off the video, stay watching. Yeah, you that master see. bedroom is so worth seeing. Yeah. So down here, we've got another big corridor Cool gramophone, is that what it's called, a gramophone? Yeah, it's a gramophone, yeah. yeah. So just to the back, there's another room. It's a study kind of room, but they've got lots of storage and personal belongings in there, so we can't go in and show you. Um, but let's head through to the kitchen now. I'll swap and be behind the camera, and Matt will start the tour. Yeah, and just that door behind some of that, just so you know, in case you're wondering, that yeah. just takes you back into the lounge area that we were yes. just Yes, so there's two doors into the living room, which is cool. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Looking forward to showing you the rest of the ground floor now. So I'm back in the main entrance hall where this incredible staircase is. So you've got two ways that you can access the kitchen and the rest of the ground floor space now. So you can head through there, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go round through the front, enter the kitchen and go all the way around. So come on through. Just while we're coming past, I'll point out as well that it's not just the improvements and the renovation that you can see that the owners have done. They've actually fitted a lot of technology as well. So the whole property has had a complete rewire, been completely replumbed throughout, and it's also now got an alarm system. So that's good information for a future buyer. And it's also got CCTV as well. Yeah, I saw that on the outside, actually, good point. So this is a room that just connects the hallway area into the kitchen. So a nice sofa here and again, lovely windows, a huge window here which lets in so much light. And then come on through to the kitchen. This space in here is absolutely amazing. It's such a grand kitchen. And I think the style that they've chosen really, really suits the character of the property. So in terms of layout, you've got a dining area or look like a breakfast table here with four seats. In front of me there, we've got two huge windows again, which overlook onto the front of the garden and the parking area. Behind me, another large window, and really the centerpiece of the kitchen is this huge island. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a massive island, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got granite worktops. I love these velvet breakfast yeah, bar stools as well. Yeah, cool, aren't they? Yeah. Really nice. And so you've got four of those tucked in and enough space to obviously have your breakfast area in yeah. there. And through here as well, we've got lots of different pull-out shopping, shopping boards. So obviously that one, and then you've got yes. a red one potentially below there. I'm not gonna go through all their cupboards, obviously, but just wanted to point that out. This side, we've got another piece, but I mean the, the thickness and the quality of fittings. Now we tour loads of houses and a lot of new ones as well, but when you come to a house like this, you can really see the quality of the detail and you know, no expense spared in just keeping that quality really nice. 
It's like the fruit bowl display here, we've got a drinks cabinet and loads of additional storage through here as well. So what's really cool is the flooring. So do you remember what the flooring was? Sam? Yeah, so they were custom porcelain tiles. Porcelain, that's it. But they're, they're all, colour. if you look at the size of the tiles, and if you think about a, a standard kitchen, you know, yeah. you're just not gonna get anything like this. The size of each porcelain tile is absolutely massive. What's that, like a meter and a half? And wait till you guys see the um, quartz tiles yes. in the master ensuite. Yeah, for sure. So then working our way through, we've got another large window here. And then behind me is, I guess, the main appliance area. So you've got cupboard space this side, and this is where the freezer would be on the yeah. far left. <laughs> so that's um, the fridge, that's yeah. the freezer. Yeah, that's the fridge here, isn't it, this one? Yeah, so that's the fridge, and then that's the freezer, yeah. And then you've got the drinks fridge where they've got wine in there at the moment in the middle. All Siemens appliances, really nice quality throughout. Over here, we've got three Siemens ovens and a coffee maker as well. And again, loads of storage throughout up top and below. You've got lighting at the top there as well. And this cover's really cool. I know I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I am gonna show you this one because it's really cool. So you have a completely bespoke designed tea uh, kind of display space. And this really works well with the tea room, the English tea room, the green room that someone showed you at the start. Just really suits the character of the house. So lots of fine teas throughout here and some nice bottles. But this whole unit is coming completely bespoke and fitted. Uh, and that really nice quality wood effect in there as well, which looks really cool. And then you can hide that away, keep it really minimalistic as well. So as we progress to this side, Again, all of this space, we have a huge area. We've got a Siemens Wi-Fi um, hob. We've got the granite backsplash at the top and then the extractor all built in so it looks completely minimalistic and just keeps it really tidy as well. And so this side, we've just got some more space and some plug sockets through there. So what an amazing kitchen, but keep watching. We've got the utility space now. This is on the left of me. Now this utility is pretty much like an apartment kitchen or even a house kitchen yeah. to be fair. Um, and what's really nice is even though it's the utility space, they still kept the quality really, really high throughout. You've got lovely worktops here as well, huge sink, loads and loads of storage space. We've actually got a TV up there as well, which is nice. And we've got Miele washer and dryer fitted below here. But again, really good quality tiles. And then you've got a pantry area through here which just holds uh, you know, all the food, canned food and stuff like that. Uh, this is really cool. So obviously the house has a lot of history being an 18th century build. And in here was the original gun cupboard. So it's a quite heavy door, but if I, if I unlock it first <laughs> and open it up. Okay, so look at the size of that door and you may not be wow. able to really tell from the video but it's really heavy and at the moment instead it is used for a drinks display cupboard so loads and loads of bottles and some nice ones in there just as put well. your hand next to the, on the door to show you like this way uh, yeah. it's as thick as a hand this door. really thick door since that obviously would have been from when guns are kept in there just for security and everything Stepping out onto the real oak hardwood floor and then behind me, we have the downstairs WC for the property. So you've got courtyard view, a nice corner built custom bespoke sink vanity unit here as well. And then the toilet behind with a um, large custom design feature wall behind as well. And on the right here, we've got uh, feature glass, which again is another nice character feature. And as we work our way back into the entrance hall, now it's time to check out the first floor and the rest of the upstairs of this property. It's truly amazing. Wait till you see the master bedroom. So Summer, why don't you show them upstairs? Back to me. So I'm gonna go up my palatial stairs. Palatial, that's a good word. This house literally makes you feel like a princess. Okay, so which way should we go first? We've got Let's the guest go wing. Guest bedrooms first. Yeah, and okay. Then keep watching for the master. Yeah, keep watching, guys. <laughs> okay, so this is the guest wing. So there's two bedrooms on this side and a bathroom. Let's head into this one first. 
and all the bedrooms are really good sizes. We'll put the floor plans on the screen so you can have a look at the measurements, but we've got a fireplace in this room with dark marble on the bottom, and then windows with views out to the front garden where's, where also the cars are parked as well. And remember guys, make sure to click on the link that we put in the description for this property so you can actually see all the photos and the yes. floor plan up close because it's good to see the video and photos as well. Yeah, and all the rooms you'll notice will have like a different colour. So this is baby blue um, and all the bedrooms kind of have like their own different vibe. So let's head through to the next room. Actually, these ones are similar baby blue, but these are the guest bedrooms. Still got its own vibe, like yeah. slightly different style. Different style bed. I mean, I would love to stay in here as a guest. <laughs> yeah. It's a really nice, nice bedroom, isn't it? So again, good size room, very tidy. Another fireplace. There's just so many fireplaces. Um, but yeah, let's head through to the bathroom. So we've got white marble on the floor and the walls. We've got a traditional style shower and also a traditional um, style sink and vanity unit. I love the marble fitting in here, like the design detail up close of how the it's all built in here and it's really, really thick, good quality stuff. Yeah. And that goes all the way into the custom design shower area. And then round here, we've got the toilet and I think it's called a B-Day. Yeah, it is. But that's kind of cool, okay. Yeah, I love white marble, so I'll have that bathroom. <laughs> okay, now that side is the family wing, so there's three more bedrooms. You've got a great view of the entrance hallway from up here. Let's head through to the master bedroom. So this is the corridor um, of where the bedrooms are, and as you can see, it's pretty wide. And then there's stairs up to the master bedroom. So, how insane is this room? I mean, wow. It's huge, this room. It's, I mean, it's huge. It's got to yeah. be one of the biggest bedrooms that we've seen in a long time. Exactly, just for perspective, if I stand. All this way, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. We can tell how big the room is because that's a king size bed. Yeah. And it takes up like a quarter of the room. Here's another fireplace, guys. So in the winter, it'd be really nice to have this on. It's nice that all the fireplaces are different as well. Yeah, they so are. So that is another thing that makes each room individual. Yeah, exactly. I love the um, main bedroom when there's the bed and also like a living area yeah. with a sofa. Obviously, it needs to be a big room, but... So you've got yeah. views that side as well? Yeah, so two big windows out to the garden and also these shutters. Yeah, original shutters and again, replace windows. Yeah. And then over this side, you've got a um, some more furniture. Yeah, so just a chest... Some decorative pieces. Chest of drawers, yeah, decorative pieces are... I just love how tidy it is. Should yeah. we show them the bathroom? Okay, yeah, guys, this is... The, this is probably the best, one of the best parts, Yeah, right? I would say so. Oh, wow. I wish you got our first impre impressions on camera, but how insane is this bathroom? I've never seen an ensuite as big as this. And the flooring and the walls, so all of this wall back here and this circular kind of wall is all quartz. So it's... The reason they didn't go for marble is because marble, you need to maintain marble, but quartz you don't need to maintain. And if you see how big these slabs are, I think they're three meters by yeah. 1.52. I mean, I have no idea how they got them in yeah. there. <laughs> that's, I mean, tiles and, and single quartz pieces that size, and they were all made by one of the biggest quartz manufacturers in the world. Yes. Sissingtons, I think. think. We'll put the, we'll put the name on the, on the screen. screen. So here is a standalone bath with traditional kind of taps and features, but pretty beautiful. I can't get over this bathroom. It's so insane. It's amazing, isn't it? it's, <laughs> this would be a big bedroom. Yeah, this is a big bedroom, yeah. but a bathroom. Yeah. And we've got dual sinks. I love the oversized shower this yeah. side as well. 
and that you can just walk straight in. Yeah, again, traditional taps um, and fixtures, which suit the property. If it went too modern, it, it wouldn't suit the style of property. They've done it just right. Look um, at that quartz. Look how this is all quartz yes. that goes and it's been custom fitted all the way around that wall. Yes. I find that, it's amazing. Incredible, incredible, right? What do you think to the light fitting as well? Yeah. It's kind of like got an angel wings. All the lights in this property, from the, sh the chandelier at the start, they're just insane. I think this is one of the, you know, most amazing houses we've seen, especially yeah. this style, because obviously a lot of we see are very modern. But and what's is... amazing is the, the price as well, yes. because I mean, we've toured some apartments on our channel. Obviously we do a lot in London. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen any of those tours, we'll link one of them above for reference. Yeah. But yeah, touring over two million pound apartments and then you come and see something of this size, it's yeah. just amazing because England isn't huge. Like you can be two hours or even probably like an hour in a different direction. I know, that's crazy. So let us know guys, would you rather have an apartment in London in the city centre um, and obviously it'd be smaller but you live the city life or would you rather have a mansion up north in this type of area? It's funny actually, I think the owners were originally from London of this property so yeah. let us know in the comments which one you'd go for. And even if you were to live like this, you've still got really good transport links to Cam yes. Cambridge. Cambridge. The nearest train station from here is 10 minutes away. Yeah. And then that will take you to London anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's head through. But actually, I just want to mention this is the fireplace I was telling you about yeah. in the bathroom. I've never seen a fireplace in a bathroom before. <laughs> We've got two more rooms up here. This is another bedroom, but it's not got a bed in if they don't they don't need it. I would say it's probably the kids' office room. Yeah, I don't know about office, probably playroom. <laughs> yeah, they've got two little desks. They have got desks to be fair. So there. sweet, yeah. But this is the playroom. We've got this panelling on the side here. Gives the wall more of a feature um, and views out to the garden. Here's the fireplace for this room. White marble on the bottom and sides and then nice features on the top. I like that light that comes over. Yeah, this is. If a you like interior light. design, it's also really good to just look at these houses yeah. on our channel. Um, even if you know you're not looking for a house like this or, or whatever, just to see some of the interior design and yeah. give you some good inspiration. Get some inspiration from loads of different ones. Okay, this is one of my favourite rooms. This is they um, have two little girls, so this is their bedroom. They. It's so adorable in here. I mean, look at the color of the walls. Pink, we've got the pink um, blanket over the bed. It's been interior designed so well. They're and by just, the owners as well. By the owners, yeah. yeah. Um, we've got a dressing table up here and two little seats to the back of the room. Sorry, to the left of the room. Huge room though, isn't it? And yeah. then a fireplace, one of the nicest fireplaces is in this room, really good yes. size. I love the feature pieces they've put throughout the property, so things like this, this sculpture on the bottom, they just bring the property more to life and yeah, get some inspiration for interior design. Then here's a little cupboard with the cutest clothes in. Mm -hmm. So you've got some wardrobe space, but also there is a walk-in wardrobe through the bathroom. So this is a cool door that's yeah, sort of circular. It is, it's curved to fit which is kind of hard to show on the camera, but yeah. you can see. It's a curved door. You've got a door here as well. So if you wanted to come just through the corridor landing, you could come in. Check out these traditional dual sinks with, would you say this is gold? Gold fixtures? Yeah, light gold. Light gold with a tint and then towels to the side of each. Love these mirrors as well with the um, archway and gold tint. So we've got toilet, a spa shower with two seats. So you can have music playing, jets going, and chill out and sit down in the shower. That's cool, right? Yeah. I bet their daughters love that, like yeah. a party room. Yeah, <laughs> let's go have a shower. And then this is the walk-in wardrobe I mentioned um, in the bedroom. So you've got the bedroom, bathroom, and wardrobe space. And although we came through one of the bedrooms to get to this last one, they do have their own entrances as well. If you wanted to yes. access this bedroom on your own, you would just come through the ensuite. There's another door, yeah. And there's another door on the bedroom as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to come through the ensuite. You've got a door that's. Yeah, side. so this is the other door from the main corridor. And then you're back out to the main area. So 
that's the main, obviously, indoor shown to you guys. We'll head outside now so you can see the outside. But yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and we'll head outside. Okay, so we're outside in the garden area of the property now. So just behind me is the large formal living and dining space that Summer showed you. So you can see that it's perfect for hosting. You can come out through the door there and then just enjoy all of this space outside as well. And up the top, we've got a large seating area with some shade and privacy as well. But in front of me is the huge garden area. So just over three and a half acres in total. And it's really nice because the whole garden space is completely private. It's got some substantial trees all the way around the edge of the boundary. Um, and you can just see, I bet when you're looking on the screen there, how big this property looks from um, the outside. So pretty amazing to see property of that size. And then you've got some uh, play area stuff over on the left-hand side. And then if we head all the way to the other side, we've actually got a tennis court. So we're at the edge of the boundary now, and this is the tennis court through here. So it's not used that much by the owners at the moment, but with a good clean, this will look really nice. Um, and again, a nice private setting with substantial trees all the way around, but I thought that was definitely worth mentioning. And then over on the right-hand side, just through there behind those trees, you've got some more area. You've got a spinny, um, which leads down to the river Eiffel as well. So you can head down there and enjoy those uh, views. So that's a complete tour of this fantastic grade two listed property. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're touring so many amazing homes on this channel. We've got some amazing ones coming up over the next few months. So make sure to subscribe and like this video to see more. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tour. Dark. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't